Hey Sagittarius, good morning. If you can hear all the birdies, I'm always, that's pretty much how I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Sagittarius, this week has been something, Sag, and I, I don't know if it's just this Mercury retrograde or what, but it's like the energies have just been insane. And so kind of all over the place, sorry. It's also trash day. <laughs> it's also trash day. So I really had to sit with what's going on. And, and I feel like um, what may be happening for you is like having to be the corralling force, right? Having to be the one in charge, um, especially amidst at like everyone else's feelings like I don't know Saj it just it just feels like uh especially with other people because there's so much going on this week in other people with other people and you may have noticed that you're having to take charge of situations because people are just maybe a little too caught up in their feelings and um you know we as Sagittarians really I don't know. I mean, I guess sometimes we get defeated, but, you know, we don't let defeat or, or things, bad things that happen hold us down if we're in our true energy. And so I'm going to talk about that in my podcast today about maintaining a positive life. Um, yeah, because I felt inspired to do it this morning, but. I feel like that's what's going on. Like, there is problems, right? And there are other people who just very much feel overwhelmed by it. And, you know, even given to defeat. So, the, all the energies that came up around the oracles were very... I was like, where is this coming from? You know, it just... And that's what this whole week has felt like. Uh, such an energy of duality like this and that are true and and like multiple things going on at the same time it's kind of like uh good things are happening but bad things are happening it, it's it's all of those things and I kind of feel like you're thrust into being in charge into being a leader because people are just getting too caught up in Maybe they're getting too caught up in the problems, but let's let's talk about it, Saj. Because underneath the deck is uh, success and consummation, meaning there's something working out for the best. You know, there's an end to something. And I feel like this is you, like uh, expressive, like really in your riz. You got made your riz today, Saj. Um, and, and that's really energy and it's really positive energy and it does inspire others to really believe that things can work out, but they don't come at you that way. Okay. So it may seem like a little work intensive to be quite honest with you because you are figuring something out and you are working within a team. You are working with other people. So this just isn't like a you thing. This is, you know, uh, you're showing a lot of charisma and, you know, and that's really, your energy is, is really towards how can we work things out? Not, you know, not let's talk more about the problem. You're very solution oriented. Your vibration is, is meeting it in such a high way towards, towards everything always works out. Come on. What can we do here? Let's let's stop being like uh, <clears throat> negative Nancy, right? This is how can we work together to to figure this out? And that's the energy that you're in, which makes you the leader. Because people are looking to you because they don't see the solutions. Oh my goodness. So... Underneath the deck was really interesting. So I pulled a lot of cards under the deck. 
And for me, what's under the deck is what's rising. A lot of people think of it as uh, the subconscious, but here's the moon. Here's the problem. Here's the fact that no one can see it, right? Um, union. The Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. And it's just, it's really a lot of chatter and, and really, you know, it's like, how do I make this come together? And so kind of for you, it's like, how can we, you know, with the page of pentacles, like how can we fix the problem? Right? It's something, there definitely needs to be a change and you may I feel like also you just want everyone to work together. Um, it could be a very confusing situation that seems as if it has no solution, but there is a solution. There is a solution, but it, it feels like with the five of wands, that's that conflict energy. That's resistance. It's like they're kind of, it feels like people are resistant to something different and you know everyone has their own opinion about how something should be done wowza and and it feels like they're fighting you you know when you just want things to work out it does very interesting because it does feel like this week we're very much dealing with groups of people and I don't know, Saj. <laughs> so basically, uh, you know, people influencing your day. Coffin. Now, there, there is, I'm going to just put this in here. And I'm not predicting something terrible. But there does seem to be an awful lot here about, about an ending. And... You know, um, an inability to get people to work together in, as far as the details. So for some, you may be dealing with a death in the family or whatever. And it just seems like everyone is just not focused on let's get these details taken care of. Everyone's caught in their feelings. Um, you know coffin journey message of concern it could be someone who's at a distance from you actually comes through for you in this um so there definitely is you receiving a message that actually really helps you with whatever it is you're trying to take care of so you know if you are dealing with family matters regarding a loss or a death and it seems like n no one can come together on the details you know that part of the message may really be for you may really be for you um because i'm seeing this it, it, it just it just very much feels like a situation in terms of solutions right in terms of solutions and everyone bucking against it right because your energy is judgment judgment with this with the six of pentacles like you want everyone to come together to agree on on something you know on moving forward because judgment is all about that judgment is about is about moving forward it is about you know looking at what we're dealing with and coming to a decision you know, stepping into something new. And so you want everyone to come together. You want there to be um, balance, to be cohesion here. And it just feels like impossible. <laughs> it does. <laughs> because, you know, people are actually, um, you know, for whatever this is, People are too caught up in their feelings. They're too caught up in feeling low because we're seeing the five of swords. 
feeling um, defeated by things. You know, they don't see the solution. All they see is, is, is the pain of things. You know, because this is kind of like the I can't go on. But it can't be like that because it you have to, right? With the King of uh, Wands and the King of um, Pentacles, you could be dealing with two people, um, men specifically, who who are that those could be the people causing the problems. But I actually feel as if, you know, the problem may be in terms of time as well. You know, it's it's taking the time to to make the best possible decision or to come up with the best possible solution that works for everyone. And it seems like there's one person here or it could be more than one person that just want to move on to something new, just want to leave something behind. And, you know, we can't always do that. Because there are details in life we must attend to, the, the, the solution isn't always, well, let's just forget about it and move on to something else. And that feels like what it is you're dealing with. Like people saying, well, you know, you're trying to bring everyone together to, to find a solution, but it seems like, you know, you have some people who just don't want to find a solution. Let's just you know, screw it. And then there are people who want to take the time to make, to find a solution. So it's really about that because there is a solution. There is a solution, you know, and what's supporting you is you're not being like, you're not being, this is difficult, but you're not being weighed down by feeling such like, because with the strength card and the Nine of Swords, it doesn't mean you don't have the same feelings, the same anxiety, the same fears as everyone else you do. But you're not letting that control you. And you seem to be the only one. <laughs> you seem to be the only one, Sag, you know, because it's like the Hierophant. You know there's a solution to whatever this is, right? You know there's a solution but you also know, you know, three of wands, the devil is in the details there. And, you know, you know that there's a way out of this problem, whatever it is. And it feels like a lot of the problem is getting everyone to agree, you know, and with the magician and the 10 of wands, it's like there is a solution so we, but we have to take the time to figure out what that is. Maybe we even need to go outside and get, get advice from someone else to come up with a solution. I know this is a weird message today, right? <laughs> this is a, what's challenging today is that five of cups. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I mean, you want what's best for everyone. You know, and like I said, some people may be dealing with an actual loss. And so the difficulty may be for you in t is getting these details taken care of. There are details that need to be taken care of. And it may not be possible for you to go about it the regular way. You know, you're having to maybe find a new way of doing it. But, and it's not that you don't, see, everyone seems caught up in their feelings and what they want. Right? And, you know, there are details to be taken care of, which have become a problem. You know, they have become a problem because no one's focusing on the details but you. And, yeah, wow. I know, y'all, that was a message and a half. That was a message and a half. Seven of Swords with mm, the Four of Pentacles.
the Ace of Swords, and the Emperor. Like, it's like you can't even deal with these people, to be honest. I feel like, um, it's funny because in the midst of it, it does feel as if someone is sending you a message with help. So, that it may be financial, may be part of the problem. Um, but I mean, what you want, you really want it to get everyone to work together, but it, it does feel as if that's not possible. It does feel as if you're just going to have to like pull back from everyone and do this yourself. And you're kind of coming to terms with that. <laughs> you know, you're coming to terms with that, that you actually can't include these other people because you know, as much as they are involved, you like emotionally and mentally, they're not capable of, of being solution oriented for whatever the problem is. Wow, Saj. Because they only see problems. They only see problems and what's more than that and, and I hope that I'm getting this point across, is that there needs to be solution. There are those who just want to say, screw it, we're not just not going to deal with it. But that's not possible here. And you seem to be the only one who realizes that. Okay. Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius. Wowza. So I think in the extended, I'm going to look at what you can expect from each zodiac sign. Um, and that, that can actually come through as anything. Can come through as love, can come through as anything. So hopefully you will join me there. But let's get to your ending energy and see what will be good for you today. What would be good for Sagittarius today? Because I, I will tell you that felt like a family situation or a work situation. Very interesting, Sagittarius. Okay, what would be good for Sagittarius today? Oh. Ask for help. It's really funny because it's it feels highly possible if you just like pray or whatever for a solution that that may be when you receive this message. Which I will look at that in the extended too. Yeah. Focusing too much on the situation. Take a step back. open up yeah I, I definitely feel as if there is a conversation with someone outside of this situation um that will help you figure things out interesting okay an f being nice so you don't have to be nice to the people giving you problems <laughs> such a dear you okay <laughs> so let's take a look at your mantra today take a look at your mantra so like I said in the extended we will look at this um, message coming in because it does seem as if there is someone who wants to come in and help you they may even come towards you with Journey being here. And what you can expect from each zodiac sign. Okie dokie. What's the mantra for Sagittarius? I accept the gifts I've been giving as a high service to the world. All that I need is coming to me in ways I never could have imagined. Amen, amen. Let's see what 
actions you're being led to today, Sagittarius? What actions is Sagittarius being led to? And the problem may be money, Sagittarius. Hmm. What actions is Sagittarius being led to? Exploration. You have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making spiritual connections. Okay. Yep. Cycle. A nine-month cycle is at play. Your current project will take nine months to mature and benefit you. Commit fully to it. You have all the strength and stamina you need as long as you move forward and not backward. Mm. wonder if some of y'all are getting preggers. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. I hope it really helps. Toodles.